Hello there and good talk to you all. I am Dr. Weiser Fripp and I am Frank N. Stein. So, welcome to this month's Fripp and Frank N. Show. And yeah, it is a little bit early for Christmas. Well, it is around uh, December. Um, the reason why we are having a Christmas uh, edition early is because, um, you know, we are not... This is going to be the last uh, Fripp and Frank N show of 2017. Yes, that's right, because we're going to be doing Halloween in January free. Yeah, you see, we are going to be doing all of our Halloween in January reviews... Uh, in December, so then we can just sit back and relax and watch our show as it all gets uploaded to Random Horror. By the way, it is random. This uh, podcast show is sponsored by Random Horror. Uh, so yeah, it is a pre-Christmas special. Uh, so Franken. Uh, this is going to be your first Christmas, yeah? Oh, yes, it is, Master. Uh, also, aren't I going... Isn't it my birthday in December? Yeah, it is. You're going to be one year old, my boy. You know, how does that feel? I can't believe it's nearly a year since I was born, since you created me out of that lightning storm and that demon and heart enchantment. I know, and uh, you see, your skin has improved a lot. More colour has come into it, and you look more lies. Yes, I know, but I still have that funny hand. Yeah, it's been difficult finding you one of those, but still, you know, it is been nearly a year since I made you. I can't believe it. Um, so, Frank, tell me. What are you looking forward to at Christmas this year? Oh, uh, well, I want Father Christmas to get me, uh, some, I don't know, a shirt? Or, or, or no, a rubber ducky. Johan's a rubber ducky. Okay, uh, a rubber ducky. Uh, well, Christmas. It is a big, big deal in Germany, you know, because it was the Germans that made the Christmas tree. Was it, Master? Oh, yeah. Uh, to our listeners here, the, the Christmas tree was invented by a German guy who was one night walking in the woods in a cold winter's night in December, and he found this pine tree and he liked it, so he cut it down, took it home and decorated it. And ever since then, people have been doing that, getting uh, Christmas trees. Oh, that's very interesting, Master. I did not know that. Well, my boy, you lot for much, much to learn. So, yeah, we like Halloween, you know. We really do. But uh, we also, I also like Christmas in this show. You know, Christmas is the most magical time of year, but... Given the evil, terrible things I do, I don't think I'm nowhere near on Santa's nice list. What about me, Master? I don't know. Uh, maybe? Also, Christmas. You know, we love Christmas and we love horror still. So to satisfy our need for Christmas and horror, we tend to... Um, you know, watch uh, festive horror movies. Uh, like I showed some of you them last year, Frank Ken. Oh yeah, you showed me that one, Krampus. And that like Christmas, Santa's sleigh, uh, Silent Night, Deadly Night. Yeah, and I showed you that 2010 remake too, didn't I? Oh yeah, Master. Why would they make Santa a killer? Because there is a lot more evil to Santa. Yeah, there is the great and evil Krampus, St. Nicholas's shadow. Oh, like that big goat man in that film we saw. Yeah, Krampus, that's right. You're, you're getting it, my boy. Um, So, the legend of Krampus, he would 
uh, takes the naughty children and gives them coal for Christmas. He was also otherwise known as uh, the Christmas Devil because of his devilish ways, the fierce horns and what have you. Uh, and that we actually have there's actually celebrations and festivals uh, dedicated to the uh, to the Christmas demon, uh, you know, throughout the twelve days of Christmas. Oh, Master, um, Christmas last year, didn't you give me a present on Christmas Eve? Oh, yeah, in Germany we get our presents on Christmas Eve and not Christmas Day. Well, Christmas Eve night, then we celebrate with a turkey dinner. Oh yeah, and I devoured that turkey, didn't I, last year, remember? Yeah, you took the turkey and you ripped it apart and you completely devoured it till it was nothing but bones. Yeah, but it was very nice, you know, Master. You're a very good cook. Thank you. I do a lot of cooking uh, meat. Hmm. Um... So what were you saying, Krampus? Oh, I pretty much told you about what I know of Krampus. Um, there are also spirits. Now, you see, according to ghostly legends, uh, Christmas Eve and Halloween night are the only times of the year spirits can roam free. Like in a Christmas carol, when Scrooge is visited by the free spirits, you know, including Jacob Marley. And you know, Franken, and to all our listeners, uh, this story, A Christmas Carol, was originally, well, in fact, it is still a ghost story. Was it really a ghost story, Master? Yeah, yeah, it was. Uh, also, uh, at Christmas, we also have the re um, enactments of the Nativity celebrating the birth of Jesus and we all know that Christmas is Jesus's birthday and also we have like a new year it too yeah we do Franken okay so Christmas time what a wonder. apologies to our listeners we seem to be experiencing some technical difficulties with our microphones um <clears throat> I think we have resolved it now. So, uh, as we were saying, Christmas time. Uh, so, Franken, what does Christmas mean to you? Oh, it's all about the joy and the snow and the fun and the presents and the joy. And be grateful for what you have, I think. Very good, boy. Yeah, it's pretty much the same as you, I agree with. You know, because there are some people that are not as fortunate as others around this time of year. You know, so the best gift you can give them is your love or donate or something like that. And also, um, other things with Christmas time. Christmas, as we have already explained, has a dark side to it with the Krampus myth. But um, we also have a lot of other things that are joyful. Yeah, like, um, you know, being excited for Father Christmas. Remember when I was saying, Master, um, I couldn't sleep because I couldn't wait for Santa to come? Yeah, you piss in bed, thick yellow piss. Uh, Master, uh, can I just ask you something that's uh, off topic for a second? Go on then, what is it? Um, well, I've just come to realise uh, Halloween in January. Will I still be doing the weekends? Yeah, you'll still be weekending. Uh, it's as I take the weekends off. Yeah, I just want to know where my place was in it all. That's, uh, that's also returning New Year's Day, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, of course, it is Halloween in January, so we had the 31 days. How come we didn't do anything like this back in, like, October? Because, Fred Kid, I oh, like to reenact 
January as October uh, because I cannot wait all the way back to the beginning for the next October and also I want something to you know get rid of those winter blows you know you get after Christmas because I think New Year is shizer. That's your way of saying poo, isn't it, Master? Yeah, or shit. Um, yeah, I don't like the New Year. I like Christmas. I like the build-up to it, the 25 days before. But I absolutely hate the New Year. And when you get to Christmas Day, it is pretty much, uh, you know, it's there and then it's gone. Yeah, Master, why is that? Because it just is, Franklin. Um, so what else do you like about Christmas? Well, like you said, I like the build-up, the 24 days before. It's, like, exciting and magical. And we have that thing where we have a chocolate uh, for every day till then. Yeah, Franklin, that is called an advent calendar. Which is something everyone can indulge in. Even grown-ups, they do... Like, uh, advent calendars for grown-ups. Uh, I remember as a young boy in Germany, uh, my mother, she always, like, got a candle with all the numbers in, and we would light it up and have it melt away each number. What was Christmas like for you as a boy, Master? Oh, I, because I am German, it was, you know, it was, like, perfect. Um... Of course, I was a young boy, and I was a big believer in the great Saint Nicholas, uh, you know, uh, Santa Claus. Why is he called Saint Nicholas and also Santa Claus? Oh, it goes by many names. In fact, in Germany, we call him Chris Kringle. So, you didn't call him Father Christmas or Santa? No. Then what did you call... Oh, wait, you call him Chris Kringle. Did you people know, still know what you meant by that name? Chris Kringle, Santa Claus? Yeah, yeah, it is uh, what we learnt at school as well uh, for Christmas time. Um, so, do you still think of him as Chris Kringle or as... Father Christmas. Pretty much Father Christmas. No. Um, we also, not every single country in the world celebrates Christmas. Yeah, did you say Spain don't believe in Father Christmas? Yes, that is right, Franken. They don't believe in him. In um, Spain, they believe in the free wise men. You see, we get our presents and gifts at the start of the twelve days. Uh, so a lot of some, quite a lot of European countries uh, get their gifts at the end of the twelve days, uh, the sixth of January. For example, Spain they don't believe in Chris Kringle or Saint Nicholas. They believe in the free wise men, and when it comes to um, <coughs> excuse me. When it comes to um, Christmas, when it comes to the, you know, the fifth, they write letters to the free wise men. Instead of Santa's grotto, they are the free wise men grotto. Um, and they would leave their shoes out so the free wise men can put the presents in there. So it's like they have to wait longer for Christmas presents. Because we got ours on Christmas Eve. What about, like, other countries? Well, some... Well, well, like, for example, England, America, Australia. They get the gifts, like, on the day, Christmas Day. And we all, like, you know, Jewish people, other religions. They may not celebrate Christmas, but some have their own ways of it, like the Muslim community has, uh, you know, uh, Eid after Ramadan. Uh, the Jews have uh, Hanukkah. Wow, that's so interesting. 
You know, you teach me a lot, Master. Of course I do, my boy. You are my creation. And as a guardian, I have to teach you things. Yes, you do, Master. Um, what else? Um, we've hardly talked much about horror later content. Yeah, do you think we should discuss some Christmas horror movies? Yeah, yeah, I think we should. So, what was the first uh, Christmas horror film you watched? Uh, you showed me that Silent Night, Deadly Night. You mean, um, Silent Night, Zombie Night? Um, Silent Night, Deadly Night is the one with the guy who dresses as Santa and goes insane. Uh, Deadly Night is one where it is zombies attacking Christmas. Yes, that one. And, and then you showed me Black Christmas. The 1974 original, then it's 2006 remake. Yeah, yeah, I, I did. And also, um, the one we both watched quite recently was uh, A Christmas Horror Story, which was like uh, the film Trick or Treat, except for it was Christmas. Oh yeah, Master, and I also like William Shatner in that. He has Michael Myers' face. No, you mean Michael Myers has his face. Yeah. It had a good twist to it as well, I thought. Yeah, can I tell the twist on here? No, because that won't be fair for our listeners who have not yet seen the film. Oh, I see, Master. Um, so what, what else can is there with Christmas? What about the free spirits of Christmas past, present and yet to come? Well, uh, in the Christmas Carol story, the spirit of Christmas past was a, like, ghost with a ghost candle. And the present was a big, green, giant, a big giant man with a green robe. And the third one was the Grim Reaper, Death. Oh, and what about Jacob Marley? Oh, yeah, he was his old friend who was going to warn him about the free spirits now to me i like to think of the free spirits of christmas past present and yet to come i like to think of it like this the virgin mary as is the real spirit of christmas past because you know she gave birth to the messiah at christmas and such and and also she's you're quite known in christmas past for that, and I think she would be great as the spirit of Christmas past. Christmas present, I would say, is Saint Nicholas, uh, Santa Claus, or Chris Kringle, whatever you want to call him. And uh, because he is, he is a Christmas icon that is told throughout and it lasts to this very day. So I would say he is the spirit of Christmas present because he is still with us in the present. And he delivers presents. Oh yeah, like that Christmas joke. How do you know Santa's been to your house? Because of the Christmas presents. Because you can see. Because, yeah, yeah, th I'll let you have that joke. Even though it was, why well, do you know Santa's been? Because you can sense his presence. Um, also, uh, the spirit of Christmas future, uh, it's the Grim Reaper. Because in Charles Dickens' story and... Every version that I have seen throughout this tale, it has always been a man with a robe and a hood. So I say that the spirit of Christmas pres uh, future, or spirit of Christmas yet to come, is the Grim Reaper. Um, also, Master, uh, what about um, that um, where he... Um, you know, is a grumpy bum at the beginning and then turns nice. Such as Christmas Carol, where Scrooge learns the error of his ways. Ooh. You know, Master, I always wonder, Christmas is such a magical time of year, isn't it? Yeah, and even us horror lovers can adapt to it, and to satisfy our need for horror, we have our... You know, Christmas horror movies, and we also have the Christmas um, joy. We have the Christmas uh, tales, the darkness of them all, Krampus and such. And we have an, the, the Nightmare Before Christmas. Now, what is that? Is that a Christmas film or a Halloween film? 
It's actually both. I like to think of it as both, where it represents both holidays. Well, yeah, I guess so. Christmas and Halloween. Yeah, because Jack Skellington gets tired of the same holiday year after year, where it is always Halloween, till he discovers those trees and finds the one with the Christmas tree and then next thing he's in the North Pole and it is Christmas and he's amazed by it. Yeah, he makes a song and dance about it and turns his voice to Danny Elfman. Yeah, Danny Elfman played Jack Skellington when he was singing. Uh, for our listeners there, uh, that is a true fact. You know, because the voice actor that they had for Jack Skellington could not sing, so Danny Elfman sung. Um... We also, um, you know, it is known for one of its songs, What's This? And, um, you know, and this is Halloween. Yeah, that's a great opening to a film. Yeah, it is, isn't it? And, you know, in the end, Halloween Town learns to love Christmas. Yeah, Christmas. Do you get tired of the same old holidays all year round, Master? And if so, will I? Thank him, my boy. I have never grown tired of Christmas and Halloween. Because I, even though I treat it like it's its last, I still cherish every moment of it. I cherished it with my mother even when she was ill and I was ripping people to shreds in an attempt to find a cure. I still enjoyed the holidays. Yeah, I think I won't get bored then of it all so easily. Yeah. So, um, is there anything more to discuss in this podcast? I don't know, Master. Um, I can't think of anything more to say, can you? No, I don't think I can. Um, so yeah, um, to our listeners, we thank you for listening to us. Um, this has been the Fripp and Frank Henshaw Happy Holidays uh, pre-Christmas special um so yeah that is it for this month and the year because uh we will not be doing a podcast or anything in december because we will be getting for halloween in january yeah and also we um are going to be um you know when is the next uh, one going to be then master uh, the next Fripp and Franken show, well, it's going to take a break for like two months, so we should be back in February with this show. But we will also be back in January with Halloween in January Try. Why do you say Try for? Is it free? Yeah, it is in Germany we pronounce it Try. Okay, so yeah, until next uh, time, have a very Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, and... I'll feed the say goodbye. Yeah, bye. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Oh, so, uh, Christmas. How long is it now till Christmas? 35 days. It is the 30th of November. Yay!